friends, and welcome to another French Fry Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building Union Pacific 1996, which is the Southern Pacific Heritage Unit, an SD-70 Ace. Now I'm going to end up with two of these locomotives. This is actually the second time I'm building this. The first time I recorded it, somehow the video went vertical. And when I tried to rotate it sideways and make it bigger, it went completely blurry. So I have to build this a second time. So my, my world's going to end up with two of these on the track. So let's get into the build now. Our first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler and we'll attach that up. Underneath it, a dark oak fence gate. Then we'll knock out these ones on this locomotive and put two dark oak fences on either side. Behind that, three polished black stone blocks coming across the bottom with an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Then five polished black stone blocks above it. Next, we're going to put a dark oak button here and here. Then come in front of it with polished black stone block in the middle and make a three block tall T shape. Then an end rod down on bottom above each rail. And in front of that, a five by three of polished black stone blocks. Then we're going to take out smooth quartz slabs, three of them across the top up here, and three coming up the side here to be the stairs. Same thing on this side. Now we're going to do our first set of wheels here. So we're going to swing around behind this and take out a block of netherite. Skip one block forward and get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take stone brick stairs and we're going to put them upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And then another set of stone brick stairs, five wide, upside down and back-to-back. -back. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And then we'll open dark oak fence gate into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Then we'll fill in the top middle three on this second layer up with polished black stone block and bring it down to the end of this truck. We're gonna come one block past where those fence gates are. Then we're gonna come underneath the end of this here and put three stone brick blocks across the bottom. And coming off that bottom one, we're gonna put a row of upside down, outward facing stone brick stairs that's going to be 17 blocks long in total. Once you have 17 blocks, three stone brick blocks across the end of it, and then same thing on this side, upside down, outward facing stone brick stairs, and a full row coming up this side to frame in the bottom of the fuel tank. Then on the second layer up, we're going to start filling in the middle three with polished black stone blocks. And we're going to bring that all the way down to the end of the fuel tank. We'll stop right here for now. Then we'll do our next set of wheels. So get another right, one block forward from this down on the rails. Another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then upside down stone brick stairs in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then another set of upside down back-to-back -back stone brick stairs in a T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels on this side. Then, come up here, go back to polished black stone blocks, and continue filling the top middle three in. We'll stop above where the fence gates are. In front of it, we're gonna do a five by three of polished black stone blocks. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle, with an end rod on bottom above each rail. Then in front of that, three polished black stone stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. 
Then we're going to take smooth quartz slabs, three of them across the top up here, and three coming up this side gap for the stairs. Same thing on this side here. Now take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the ones we used for placement. Underneath it, put a dark oak fence gate, and also open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler there. Then my front end's facing the void there, making this the conductor side. On the conductor side, on top of the fuel tank, we're going to put a full row of stone brick blocks up here. Next, we're going to come down on the side of the truck here, and above each wheel, we're going to put a stone brick slab. Same thing here. And then we'll do the other side, stone brick slabs above all three of these wheels. One more corner to go, slabs above these wheels. Then we're going to take out a grindstone, come underneath, and we're going to put an upside down grindstone in front of each wheel on the side of the truck. Same thing here. And then we'll do the other side. Grindstones in front of these wheels. And one more corner to go. Grindstones in front of all three of these wheels. Now we'll swing over to the engineer side and work on the top of the fuel tank over there. We have to do our air tanks. Come to the back of the fuel tank, put five anvils. In front of that, we're going to put a crimson button, a player head, and a crimson sign. Then on this side, aligned with that, we'll do the same thing. A crimson button, a player head, and a crimson sign. Then we'll come back over here in front of that, and another full row of anvils for a second air tank. Up here above this truck, we're going to put a bell. Right there. Behind the fuel tank on this side, we put a brewing stand. Then we're going to take out a chain, put a chain in each of these two gaps on the end, a chain there, come to the front of the fuel tank, a chain here and here, and then a chain in these two gaps. Then we're going to fill this third layer up on the top middle three with polished black stone block going end to end. Then on this very top outside edge, we're going to put a full row of smooth quartz slabs going end to end on both sides. Then we're going to come up front here on the third block back. We're going to put a crimson door on the left hand inside block and then the rest of it is black wool. Then right here, two red concrete and an orange concrete on either side. Then three black wool on the top middle. Then on each side, a forward facing polished black stone stair. Come behind it here, a black wool on bottom, then an orange concrete, then a sideways polished black stone stair on each side. Three black wool across this top. Now on bottom behind it, two black wool on each side, and two red concrete. Then above that, four orange concrete. Then above that, a black wool, and three orange concrete. Then across the front, two cyan stained glass, a black wool, two cyan stained glass. Then a white stained glass pane on each side of it for rear view mirrors. Then on the sides, two cyan stained glass panes on each side, and a black wool behind it. Then we'll come up top, and we'll fill in the top middle three of the cab roof with black wool. And we'll put a row of outward facing polished black stone stairs above the windows here. Same thing on this side over here. Now come behind the cab on the top middle, and we're going to put a row of seven black wool coming back off the back of the cab. Behind that, two cobbled deep slate and two iron bars on each side of the cobbled deep slate. Then on this conductor side, a full row of black wool coming up to the cap. Then one block forward from the iron bars, we're going to put four black stained glass panes on the side. And then a ladder. 
On this side, we're going to do one black wool, a sideways observer, and then a full row of black wool up to the cap. Now come up behind this, we're going to put a smoker in the middle for the exhaust, and a black wool on either side of it, and three black wool behind it. Then we'll surround that on top with dark oak trap doors. Then we'll come underneath here on the second block in from the outside and put a full row of red concrete down to the end of this section. Come over here and we'll do the same thing. A full row of red concrete to the end of that section. Then next, a full row of orange concrete above it. And of course, same thing on this side. And then on this side, another full layer of orange concrete. On this side, we're going to put a door right up here, and then another full row of orange concrete. Then up here, a layer of red concrete. Come over here, and we're going to do a layer of red concrete here. And actually, I just realized a mistake. These front two need to be black wool, and then red concrete down to the end of it. And we'll come fix that over here. So next to this door, knock out this one and put black wool. So it looks like that. On this side in front of the door on bottom, six red concrete coming back from the cab. Above that, five orange concrete. Then we'll come over and work on the other side here. Starting from behind the cab on bottom, we're gonna put five deep slate tile walls then five orange concrete, and another five deep slate tile walls. In front of this, an upside down red nether brick stair, and two upside down acacia wood stairs. Then two red concrete, and a two by two of orange concrete. Then another wall right down in that corner. Then we're gonna come on top of the cab in the middle, and put two smooth board slabs, and a skeleton skull behind it, and then a white candle to the right of the skeleton skull. Then behind this, we're going to start filling in the top with black carpet. We're going to have to crouch to place it on that observer, and also fill it in above these vents here. Come to the back of the locomotive, leaving a two block gap for the back porch here, and we're going to make this pattern of black wool. Then, two layers of orange concrete above that, then a layer of red concrete, and another layer of black wool on the very top. Then we'll come around in front of this in the center, three netherite, three anvils. On the sides of it, we're gonna make a three by three of iron bars. We'll do the same thing over here, a 3x3 three three of iron bars. Then above those, on each side, three red concrete, and then three black wool. On the front middle, a black wool, then a cobbled deep slate with an oak trap door. Two more black wool in here. Then we'll come in front of this, and we're going to put a line of five black wool coming sideways. Then off the front of that, we're going to extend the black wool forward another eight blocks. Then we'll come across, and we'll frame this in so we have a big rectangle. Then three black wool coming across the center of it, dividing it into two square shapes. Come under here, and we'll run red concrete up each side to the front of it. Same thing over here. Then we'll come under it on the side of the bottom in a full line of black wool down to the front of this section. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, black wool on bottom. And then two layers of orange concrete to fill in the rest of this section here. Same thing on this side here. And just bring that to the front of the section.
Then in this gap here, three red concrete on the front half of the bottom, and then three black wool. Then two full layers of orange concrete. Same thing on this side. And then one layer of red concrete on each side of the top. Then we can put black wool up the middle. We'll also fill the middle of these gaps with black wool. On this side above the iron bars, a two by three of ladders. On the other side on the top, one ladder up here, skip a block and another. Then around this trapdoor, we're gonna put iron trapdoors. Then in this section, we put a cobbled deep slate in each of the middles with an oak trapdoor on top. Then a plus shape of polished black stone blocks around it. And then polished black stone slabs on top of those. Then inside of here, where you can see the red concrete, we're gonna put a polished black stone pressure plate to cover all that red concrete. Then up here, two rows of three polished black stone slabs. In the middle, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn. And we're gonna fill the rest of the top of this with polished black stone slabs. Now we're gonna make some banners. So come into a loom with a black banner and we're gonna use red dye. We're gonna make the top half red and then we're gonna switch over to white dye and put a white horizontal stripe in the middle of it. New banner, red dye again, this time make the bottom red, switch to white dye, put the white stripe in the middle, then switch to cyan dye here, and we're gonna put a cyan diamond down that. Then we'll come place these ones. So we're gonna put the ones with the black on bottom all across the front here, and then in the top middle, we need to place the one with the diamond to represent the logo, just like that. Now we need to make a bunch more banners, so come back into the loom here. We're gonna use an orange banner, make the bottom half black, then switch to white dye and put a white stripe across the middle. New banner. This time, just a plain orange banner with a white stripe across the middle new banner again. We're going to use an orange banner and red dye. We're going to make the top half red, switch to white dye and a white stripe across the middle. Then another new banner, an orange banner, and red dye. This time the bottom half's red and then a white stripe across the middle. Then we'll start placing these. So we're gonna take the orange and black one first, and we're gonna put it on the side up here until you get right there. Then we switch to the orange and red one and start bringing this down. We'll put one in this corner here, and we'll start bringing it all the way down till we meet this black wool section. Then we switch to the orange and black one and start bringing that back. all the way up to these iron bars and one on the other side of it. Then we turn this way, one here, one here, one here. Then we come around the corner and start bringing it up this side. When we get right here, we switch over to the orange and red one and bring that up. And then two of them right here and then two right here, then switch back to orange and black up to the front. Now we switch to the orange one with a stripe, three right here, skip that section, two right here, and then we just keep bringing it down in this orange section. Bring it all the way back here, one right here, turn this way, one on each of the three end blocks. Wrap around the corner, one right here, and then start coming forward right here with it. Just keep bringing it forward here. And we'll even put them right here up to the door. And then three on the side of the cab there. Then we come up here with the banner that has red on the top. We start right here. 
start placing it on that red concrete coming all the way back. Skip that big section where the radiators are. And also that's a mistake. Skip where the iron bars are. One here, then one on each of the back three blocks. One here. And then we'll bring it forward starting right here. And we'll stop right there. Now we're going to take out gray carpet and put a T-shape on this front porch. Come around back here and a line of gray carpet on top of this inverter box. Then we'll come down here and put a full line on this walkway coming to the back of the locomotive. Come around the corner, a T-shape on the end for the back porch. Come around this corner on this side here. And then start bringing it all the way forward up this walkway. When we get up here, we're not going to put it on these stairs because we'd have to take out our banners. Then we're going to take out a birch fence for our handrails. A column of four right here. Right here, we're going to come up three, over one, up two. Then two dark oak right here, and same thing on this other side. Then back to birch. Here we come up by three, over one, up two. Here we come up by four. Then we'll move down to the back. Right here, we're going to do a column of four birch. Then here we come up three, over one, up two. Next to it, two dark oak and two dark oak there. Back to birch. Come up by three right here. Over one and up two. Then up by four right here. Then switch back to dark oak. Connect it up right here. And we're going to start bringing that all the way forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're going to come up one, over one, up one, over one and then start bringing it forward again. We'll take out this first banner so we can connect it up. Then come up front here, put a glow item frame on each of these fences with glowstone for ditch lights. Then a glow item frame on the top middle up here with glowstone for the headlight. A dark oak sign on the side with the locomotive number, which is 1996. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to hit both of those signs with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Then we'll come down to the back end here. Back here, we're going to take out the top banner on each side and we're going to put a crimson sign with 1996 on each side. Then same thing, hit those signs with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Then we're going to take a glow item frame for the rear headlight and actually take out this banner because it has to be on the red stripe and a glowstone in it. Then glow item frames down here with glowstone in them for the rear ditch lights. Next we'll do the interior, so come inside this nose door, put an end portal in this corner down here to be the toilet. Then we're going to take smooth sandstone slabs, stack it up right here till it reaches the window, and same thing on this side. On the side of this, we'll stack our slabs up two blocks high. Then a column of two here, and in the center we'll use slabs to make a staircase going down. And then on this side, we also stack it up two blocks high. Then in the back middle, we're going to put a blast furnace and a glowstone above it. Then a stair here and here for seats. In this corner, a slab for the conductor desk, a glow item frame in the middle with an end crystal, and then a lever for the engineer. Come down here, and we're going to put a door across here. Then we'll come back outside. Come back here, under this fan section, and we're going to put a row of upside down red nether brick stairs facing outward. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So another row of red nether brick stairs upside down 
facing outward underneath this section. And then I just realized we never did our logo or our locomotive number on the side. So we're going to have to make some more banners here. So we're going to come back into our loom here and we're going to be using an orange banner and white dye, a horizontal stripe in the middle and a horizontal on top. New banner, another orange banner, this time with black dye, make the top half black and a horizontal white stripe in the middle and we'll come place these. So come up on the side of the cab here. We're going to place the orange and black one right here. Do the same thing on this other side. We're also going to place one right here next to the door because we missed that spot. Then we're going to come over on the side of the cab here, right under the windows. Take out these two top banners we placed earlier and we'll put our new one with the double stripes to represent the locomotive number. Same thing over here. So we're going to knock out these two and place our new ones right there. So it looks like there's something printed on the side under the window. After that, we have a couple more banners to make here. So we're going to go ahead and come back up into our loom again. This time, we're going to use a black banner and we're going to use red dye, make the bottom half red, and then put a horizontal white stripe in the middle. Now we'll come up on the side here with that one we just made. We'll put one right there and three up here. Then come over on this side, one of them right here. Now come back into your loom again, this time with an orange banner, red dye, make the top half red. Switch to white dye, horizontal white in the middle, and a horizontal white on bottom. This is going to represent where it says Southern Pacific because we can't fit letters. Come up on the side here, right under this first black wool block, and we're going to knock out the top banners down to the back of this section, and we'll place that new one we made over it so it looks like we have our logo on the side. Of course, we do the same thing over here. So under this first wool block, knock out all these top banners down to the back of this section and place that new banner we just made. Then we're going to come over on this side because I never did the railing over here. So get out a dark oak fence, connect it up right here at the back and start running it all the way up the side of the locomotive on the side of this walkway. Keep bringing it forward here. When we get right here, we're going to come straight up by three and then start bringing it over until it connects up with the cap here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed Union Pacific 1996, the Southern Pacific Heritage Unit. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.